So if Reddit's going to start adding AI or combating AI or doing anything else to quote unquote improve the platform, I just gave you a list. This episode is made possible by OIT VoIP. Find your best in class revenue generation for MSPs all over the world. Learn more via the link in the show notes. You're watching MSP Dispatch, your source for news, community events, and commentary in the MSP channel. I'm Ray Rossini, and joining as always, sometimes, but most of the time on the best times, is Mr. Tony Francisco. How you doing, my friend? Excellent, excellent. I love this show. The audience are just, it's just annoyingly intelligent. And, and so everything we say has to be under a microscope. They like it when we're wildly inappropriate, but we base it on a spine of intelligence, factual statistical information, um, and we keep everyone informed. And then we get all the funny stuff on the direct messages, the uh, uh, all the private messages and the comments. I love this. Love this. Love this. Look forward to it every single day. How are you doing? Every single day. I love it. I'm happy. The only thing I don't like is stories like this next one where polyfill is attacking over 100,000 sites. <sighs> so in this first story, we have polyfill.io JavaScript supply chain attack impacts over 100,000 sites. In a story written by Lawrence Abrams for Bleeping Computer, over 100,000 websites were affected by a supply chain attack on polyfill.io. A Chinese company acquired the domain and changed the script to redirect users to harmful sites. Sansec, a cybersecurity firm, discovered the malware injected through cdn.polyfill.io. Despite the warnings from the original developer and efforts by Cloudflare and Fastly to fix the issue, the altered script persisted in redirecting users without the website owner's knowledge. The script primarily targeted mobile devices, employing advanced tactics to avoid detection. Google warned advertisers about the attacks, including other affected providers like Boot CSS, Boot CDN, and Static File emphasizing their commitment to protecting users and helping affected advertisers promptly address these security threats. <sighs> it's we're, we're back to the log4j. We're back to the packages that uh, the URL redirection, like that's not even like a hard thing to do. You don't even need Microsoft AI to go attack your, oh wait, no, that's, that's a different story. Go see the other story earlier this week. Uh, Tony, uh, breaking news. Domain takeover results in packages screwing up a bunch of software and creating security holes. What's your takeaway here? Okay, so Chinese company, hmm, never saw that coming. Um, it's now distributed through a CDN, Content Delivery Network. Um, terrifying. The CDN through Cloudflare says, hey, um, got a problem here. and." People are like, ah, no problem. I feel like this is a Rubik's cube. At this side is a um, look at this, and then you look and you go, oh no, oh the others, everything else is a disaster. Every time we line up something, it, it, are we just not multi-threaded enough to where we can actually just pay attention to um, what's that called um, common sense stuff while we're doing the uh, you know the the uh, token validation that, like hey maybe MF I'm just calling this multi-factor authentication in some capacity uh, maybe best practices like actual password rotation policy once in a while and this is a weird one I know but maybe a password manager um, while we're doing that which has been like herding cats um, can you check the URLs where you're going? Uh, it's it's this is not rocket science, and I, and I feel like um, I, I I'm getting angry. <laughs> Talk to me, calm me down. Talk me off the ledge. So it sucks because I can almost take our previous 15 episodes where we discussed stuff exactly like this, and it's going to be the same. If you're using packages in your apps, you should know what those packages do. It's not like you can't look at the source code. Um, and you gotta be careful. Even if it's from a known source, that doesn't mean it's good. Just because it's good today doesn't mean it's good tomorrow. You have to keep in mind how you're going to update these things, how you're gonna receive new information, how you're gonna qualify said information. If I said, told most MSPs, when you get, when you get new wiring instructions from a vendor, do you double check? Do you call? And most of them are going to be like, yeah, obviously. Yeah, cool. Okay. So when you do an NPM install on, on a package, 
are you reviewing the code? Are you checking hashes? Are you checking against other packages you have to see if they're close or something's changed? When there is a change, are you looking through release notes? Are you looking through the code histories to see what was changed? Or do you just blindly trust that jQuery will take care of everything for you? And that's the problem. We're quick to tell other, in the industry, we're quick to tell others, don't do IT yourself, use an MSP. But then when you have MSPs developing software when they're not trained and experienced developers, that's gonna happen. And even the trained and experienced developers can still make these problems as we're seeing right here. Uh, I'm not saying to beat it up, beat up on the MSPs. I'm saying be aware of the thing that even the experts are failing at. Don't fall into the same trap now that MSPs are expected to do automation and some development and some other stuff. Think of how it's going to apply to your risk surface. Um, Tony, security is in your bones. You've been affected by stuff like this probably as much as anybody else at a macro perspective. You've worked with MSPs that have been hit. What am I missing here? What should we be telling MSPs on this story? To be blunt, uh, you know, I'm incredibly impulsive and not very insightful. That's my jam. Uh, the fact that you guys are trying to pull that same, no, no, go, go get your own, go, be pragmatic, rational, research everything. My jam is my jam. You can't be impulsive and, 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 and a general, you have to be a little bit more detailed and pragmatic. Um, I don't know. I'm kidding, of course, but I'm, I'm fascinated by what we know, yet what we're actually witnessing happening on a daily basis, and it is terrifying to me. So uh, please, 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 for the love of the industry that we all live and breathe in daily, please do basic research, spot checks if you can. Of course, you can't do it with every single site all the time, but subscribe to a few news updates, uh, some security posts, and just read them. Uh, maybe what's, is there, is there, is there a, a podcast or something they could subscribe to, to listen to this stuff? What do you think? Um, yes, there is. It's life in pieces. No, 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 wait. Um, American mm. crime story. No, MSP dispatch. <laughs> Tony Francisco, Ray Orsini, <laughs> and Tom Lawrence and a bunch of other people every time we disappear. <laughs> Go check that out, please. But next, Tony, I want to know, it's like chocolate and peanut butter. What happens when you take a dumpster fire and add AI to it? Tell us your next story, dude. In my next story from Engadget.com, Reddit puts AI scrapers on notice. Reddit warned AI companies and scrapers that its updated robots exclusion protocol, that's robot.txt file, to block automated scraping that doesn't comply with its terms. The platform will continue to block and limit crawlers lacking prior agreements, aiming to safeguard Reddit while supporting legitimate use such as the internet archives and researchers. Following reports of AI firms like Perplexity bypassing robots.txt rules, Reddit clarified its position on data access. The company emphasized its commitment to an open internet, but emphasized the importance of respecting content policies. Reddit's actions aligned with its previous steps to monetize data through API licensing deals with firms like Google and OpenAI, signaling a shift from free access to its content. Ray, um, there's a few things in here that I like. Uh, some, some things I, I wish I was cross-eyed so I could see it twice. I love that they're actually uh, recognizing that scrapers are going through and pulling data. And they're like, you can't do that. That's our data. Uh, when ironically, it's someone else's data that they put on their nose. Uh, so uh, <laughs> have you ever heard of Reddit? I should probably ask you that first. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But um, the, the, <laughs> have you ever heard? It? It's it's kind of a cool, um, it's like where you put pictures and stuff and, and you, you laugh at it. Um, and so, uh, <laughs> oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Dumpster Sir, fire. you were merely, merely adopted by the dumpster fire. I was, <laughs> I was molded by it, born in it. Um, and so, so, but when I, when I look at what they're doing to constantly plug the holes into this data leakage, which then can be repurposed and reused from, let's say, large language model learning recognition, which shouldn't be there unless it's paid for, can also be used by references uh, from news agencies, which shouldn't be used because it can be taken out of context, which could be used by a competing model in some capacity when they're putting the plugs in those i'm actually okay with that but there may be a negative impact from this what are your thoughts give us the uh give us the the down low since you have a little experience with reddit the down low uh, to me 
the problem that I have with Reddit is they're just not to not to be punny, scraping for money. Um, like that's the best way I could possibly do it. They did this nonsense with the API before the uh, before their launch or before their IPO. Um, that and they actually delayed their IPO by what was it, fourteen months or something of that effect, um, due to some of the the backlash. The whole API changes were specifically due to lack of revenue and complaining about third party apps consuming too much of the data and causing a burden and blah 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 blah. Woe is Reddit. This is the equivalent of woe is Twitter, we or X or whatever the hell Elon wants to call it. You are at the place you are because of a series of bad decisions, and you're making additional bad decisions to try to improve the thing that you made bad. Or you have hundreds of thousands of subs with literally hundreds of thousands of moderators that are giving their blood, sweat, and tears to help. Ask them what they care about. Ask them what they think is important. I'm sorry, us. <laughs> As a moderator of RMSP, as a moderator of many other subs, ask us what matters because we're the ones regularly affected. And I promise you, it will not be crawlers. It will not be a lot of the nonsense they're trying to quote unquote protect against. Let's get better administration tools. Let's get better identity verification tools. Let's get better tools for content moderation and to eliminate the hate speech and eliminate the attacks. Because if you look at most subreddits across all of Reddit, most of the community rules are damn near the same thing. And they're all things that Reddit doesn't give you tools to manage on your own. So if Reddit's going to start adding AI or combating AI or doing anything else to quote unquote improve the platform, I just gave you a list. Thank you and you're welcome. And to the rest that, of the audience. <laughs> no, that, that, I'll tell you right now, that proves right there, everyone. Ray isn't just shaped like an adult. Like that was brilliant. That was a bomb right there. And 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 MSP Dispatch as a whole, MSP Dispatch is the result. If if a unicorn and a four leaf clover had a baby, MSP Dispatch is it. That is the knowledge that everyone should be writing down and referencing at some point. Sorry, you took me into deep water really quick. I'm out. I'm, I've snapped back. I'm good. No, I mean, if we're gonna end up. an episode, unicorns <laughs> are absolutely the way to end it. Um, with that, I can't get any better than unicorns and rainbows, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching another episode of MSP Dispatch. Hopefully we entertained, educated, and maybe raised some questions for you. But that's okay, because if you have anything you want to discuss, we hope we pro provoke some conversations and you're ready to go to the MMN Discord to start engaging on it. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Be safe, everyone. If you found this episode eye-opening, catch more MSP Dispatch at 10 a.m. throughout the week. Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.